how do you fight something so big? Cancer, you know, that's pretty big. And, as big uh, as it gets. Yeah, and it was, it was not a small form. It was, it was deadly. And it hit me yesterday. We did not learn how to fight something like cancer five, six years ago. Right. This is how we began faith t almost 50 years ago, almost you and I, ago, yeah. is seed faith. And the faith that it took us then to trust God for our finances was huge because we didn't understand. We didn't know. No, we we and, were and brand new Christians. Right there. Here they've just been defeated. Yeah. Babylonian captivity. They say, how do we, here's the huge armies and, and to this day, look at yes. little Israel yeah. surrounded by the world that wants to destroy them. That's yeah. been their destiny yeah. for battle for 3000 yeah. years. And God said, trust me with your, finances, me with your finances and it will build your faith. It is so powerful of a it's concept. A powerful revelation. It really is God's way from the very beginning of time to set up his plan of provision for us. Why? Because if we were not uh, needing God to move for us, then when things would happen, we'd never know it was exactly, God. Exactly. And so number one, he sets it up so that we establish in our lives that God is number one. Right. Above anything, above provision, above uh, resources, above whatever's going on in the world, it puts that perspective into place. It quite literally puts your money where your mouth is. Yeah, it is. Because it's easy to say, oh, I love you, Lord. But we throw a buck or two in the plate here and there, maybe. Yeah. yeah. And it, it really establishes our relationship with God. And what does that do? That opens the windows of heaven and it opens his conduit of blessing into our lives. And the thing about giving on a regular basis is it's you don't just get little sprinkles of miracles here and there you develop this system with god of producing giant faith and trusting god and seeing his miracles 